and good morning. Uh, welcome to Collaboration Wednesday, brought to you by the Grunin Foundation. Uh, I am Jeremy Grunin, president of the Grunin Foundation, and I've already stumbled over words in the first seven seconds, so you know that uh, this is not a professional uh, professional deal here. We're doing the best we can in the uh, in the in the uh, throes of the pandemic. Uh, and somebody who uh, knows better than anyone uh, what it's uh, what it's looking like out there and and how we're trying to cope with this is today's guest, uh, Bill Arnold. He is the president of the Southern Region for Robert Wood Johnson Barnabas Health. For those of you wondering what the Southern Region is, uh, that's Community Medical Center, Monmouth Medical Center, and Monmouth Medical Center Southern Campus. Bill, thank you so much for taking some time with us today. Well, thank you for having me, Jeremy. I truly appreciate the time. Absolutely. So um, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's been a, a bit of a crazy time. I know uh, you, you have uh, three hospitals that are uh, in the heart of it, but also you are, uh, I imagine, regularly on, on calls with, uh, with the system, uh, working, through, uh, working through what you need to work through. Uh, really great to be part of a large system at a time like this, right? It is, Jeremy. It's, uh, you know, a lot of best practices shared on those calls. Uh, we are, we are uh, practicing in a safe way. So we're never in the same room, which is new, just like this, this uh, uh, call is new for me as well, getting on a Zoom call. Uh, but it, seem, it seems to work well. I think we've all learned a lot uh, that we can become pretty efficient. Uh, in times like this, but uh, having expertise like a uh, Dr. Jack Bonamo, who's our chief medical officer, is really taking charge uh, of of our operation, and uh, we we pretty much uh, share ideas, share any kind of um, resources that may be needed, and quite frankly, expertise. Uh, so yes, being part of a large system makes it, uh, I think, a, a much easier task. Yeah, and we, you know, this is the theme of today for us is around collaboration and, and we've seen some Herculean things kind of happen uh, with folks that have been uh, able to collaborate and, 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 and bring organizations together. In your case, though, it starts really within your own organization. You, you, you have uh, a number of different hospitals that are all uh, working together. Tell me what life has been like for you. What's been the biggest challenge? What have you, what have you seen uh, within your own system to start with that, is, that has had to happen that, that uh, maybe uh, two, three months ago you wouldn't have even considered as something that was uh, a normal, normal course of your day? Well, early on, uh, I'll, I'll state the obvious. We all heard it in the media. Uh, the PPE, that was our first real come together, figure out uh, how we would make sure our nurses, physicians, and frontline staff were safe. And uh, that's a challenge uh, because I, I'm safe. I'm, I'm not on the front line and it's my responsibility to make sure I do everything in my power to assure their safety. Uh, so that was the, the first real challenge. And uh, I think we did a nice job as you heard from Ken Sable from Hackensack when you interviewed him last week, he mentioned that's something that we collaborated on. The, the two systems, as well as Atlantic Health System, the CEOs all came together and decided how uh, to best uh, assure the safety of, of, of their staff. And, and that trickled down. And, and um, obviously, uh, Ken Sable, who's my counterpart in this region, uh, worked very hard to make sure the staff at all the Monmouth and Ocean County hospitals were safe on the front lines. Yeah, I mean, this is really a, uh, I think I may have mentioned it with Ken also, this is really a, um, uh, a, a, a bit of a dress rehearsal uh, as, as healthcare moves towards really that, that, uh, that culture of health, that, uh, that healthy community um, uh, model, as opposed to uh, where we wait till someone gets sick and then we go, uh, we go treat them. Uh, so it's really behooves hospitals and hospital systems to work together uh, to make sure that folks are, uh, are, are staying healthy, which seems so revolutionary now. I mean, gee, let's just keep people healthy, right? I mean, that's, uh, but, but you guys have worked well together. Yes. There's always a level of competition. Uh, competition, I think, is healthy. It's uh, what drives us all. And, and ultimately, the, the patient uh, benefits from that. Uh, the competition creates better medicine, better resources, better technologies. Uh, and, and that's how we've operated for so many years. But I'll tell you, the, the CEOs of, of uh, 
New Jersey have all come together. So you see it in our region. Uh, your question was how, how we're working in the region. Uh, the three hospitals that I'm responsible for, we're, we're on a call every other day. And again, sharing best practice, helping each other with resources. We're moving patients around where necessary. Uh, but something else that happened was the state uh, created regions. So we fell into the central region, Monmouth and Ocean County. So Ken and I found ourselves working closely with John Gribben from Centra State, Amy Mansu, who was the leader, she works for RWJ Barnabas Health and the state asked her to lead the central region. So again, we all collaborated there. Um, and then many of us sit on the hospital association board. So we tend to collaborate at that, at that location as well on a regular basis. So although there, there's a, that competitive feel, as I mentioned earlier, for years we've collaborated, but to your point, this brought us all together with a, a common goal, and that's to get as many patients we possibly can back into the community. And every day we're seeing that happen. Discharges, you see the clap outs on the news, and, and we're all happy. I'm happy when I see my competitor, uh, Ken Sable, clapping out his, his uh, patients over there at Jersey Shore, as, as I'm sure he's happy to see the same happening within my regional hospitals. Yeah. Well, that's great. You just answered one of the big questions, which is uh, Monmouth and Ocean County are clearly the central part of New Jersey. No, not to be confused with Southern New Jersey, uh, which those north of the Raritan Bridge would call us. Well, I'm, um, I'm now, from, uh, Jeremy, I'm from Florham Park, New Jersey. So I've always figured this with South Jersey. I got to come down here to, you know, once a summer and there's definitely that, that beautiful smell as you go over the Driscoll Bridge that the folks from the South no longer smell. I no longer smell it. But it, it was that beautiful salt air. So once I smell salt, I figure it's South Jersey. But you're right. I learned we are truly in Central Jersey here. Well, that's good. If you guys could maybe tackle the whole pork roll, pork roll Taylor ham debate next, that would be <laughs> that would be really great. I'll put um, that on the agenda. That would be cool. Yeah. Hopefully, we get to a place where those are the conversations we could be having again instead of uh, instead of how we get PPE and respirators and and immunizations and and cures. Um, so you talked about internal partnership. You talked about partnership with other um, other hospital systems. Talk to me about other collaborations that you that you've seen. Other nonprofits, other um, other foundations, other uh, other businesses. What kind of things are happening um, that that you you know that you deal with every day that have really kind of uh, uh, been integral to the work you do every day? Okay. Well, early on, uh, as as we ran into this pandemic, we knew we'd need those partners and not necessarily partners that um, were our traditional partners um, or competitors. Uh, we quickly reached out to Encompass Health. That's a, a rehab facility. Um, uh, I, I've worked with them for years. The VNA, the Visiting Nurses Association, uh, came together along with other community partners. And uh, we, we worked with each other. We shared resources. Uh, the federally qualified health centers, which uh, we've collaborated with for years, both in Monmouth and Ocean County, we were able to help with uh, language barriers that may have existed. So we, we made sure that different communities were getting the clear message in terms of, uh, of social distancing, hand hygiene, and, and, and the like. Uh, we, try, we wanted to make sure every community had the same message as to how to keep themselves and their families safe. Uh, we also were able to move patients around. Uh, the state was, was very helpful in approving us to do things uh, and, or allowing us to do things that we, we weren't able to do in the past. So for instance, Encompass Health, uh, uh, the rehab hospital across the street from Community Medical Center, and they also have a facility in Tinton Falls. They accepted some of our patients that were just about to be ready for discharge, um, and, but just needed that extra day or two. They'd move on to, to Encompass Health, which would open a bed back at the hospital for, for the new patient that truly needed inpatient care. Uh, but the, the partnerships were great. Some of the elected officials, uh, the, the donor population, uh, the Grunin Foundation, you were, you were quick uh, to make the call uh, to me early on to see what we needed. And, and your foundation was very supportive uh, to, to Monmouth Medical, Community Medical Center, and our Southern campus. 
And you made it clear, as you always do, the Gronin Foundation looks out for all hospitals and communities uh, and the communities that you reside in. So I thought it was great that not only were you looking out for us, but you were looking out for Hackensack as well. Uh, so again, it's, it's, it, we find those connections. The last one I'll mention is the, the, the folks that tend to call ahead. We, as, as you know, we, we end up meeting many people in the community given the business uh, and, and, and the healthcare, uh, um, uh, you, you just end up getting to know so many people that will call ahead and, and just need some help, need some advice. Though, and they've done that for years. So those people were the first to reach out. Uh, Joe Leone on Easter, the day before Easter said, I wanna bring uh, Easter dinner into the entire staff of Monmouth Medical. Then I found out that he also did, wanted to do it at our Southern campus and also did the same at some of the uh, Meridian facilities. So again, it's, it's folks like that. There's a Billy Vogel that you may have heard of in, in, in down in the Brielle area. He brought lunch and dinners to the ER staff for weeks. Uh, and again, that was because he had called ahead at one point for a service, an emergency service, and he was so pleased with the way he was treated at Monmouth Medical Center, he adopted the ER for weeks and, and made sure they uh, got a meal each and every shift. So again, there's so many different partnerships. That's great. And you know, Joe Leone's a very interesting uh, case. I, I serve with him on the board of Fulfill, the food bank of Monmouth and Ocean County. And uh, Joe is uh, personally very immunocompromised. And so he, even though his business is open for catering, uh, and takeout, he cannot, he cannot be there with the team. So he does everything remotely uh, currently. But what Joe does, which is un just unreal, is he got, uh, he got permission from his wife that after everybody leaves, the, leaves, the, the, uh, leaves his establishment and they, um, and they sanitize it and make sure that it's, it's clean, he then goes in every night and for hours just works on preparing meals to deliver to hospitals, to deliver to uh, first responders, and he delivers them himself in the early morning hours. So it's people like that and, and efforts like that that happen throughout, uh, throughout our country, uh, quite frankly, that are so um, heartwarming in, in times like this. So um, that's great. Talk to me for a second, Bill, about um, pride of authorship, because in the world of collaborations, there's, they're one of the biggest uh, hurdles that, that I think people find is that everybody wants to be the lead dog. Everybody be, be, wants to be the one kind of uh, with their name on the top of the chart that they're, they're leading the chart. And sure, people are all helping and they're all pitching in, but this is a collaboration brought to you by such and such. Have you seen that kind of pride of authorship now? I mean, is it, it's, a, it's a different environment. Has it been, you know, has it, has it been easier to collaborate now in, in the face of everything we're dealing with? Absolutely. I, I truly uh i'm impressed with just every one of the partners out there i'm impressed with our competitors i'm impressed with uh the the ceos that sit on these uh calls the state calls no one's looking to be the top dog that that is not coming into play at all early on when the three three of the largest systems in the state of new jersey the ceos came together and, and uh really uh, I agreed to work together uh, to be sh make sure that our state was taken care of during this pandemic. I think that really set the tone uh, and, and we all followed that lead. And uh, really, uh, if, if you're looking for credit in times like this, I think it, it, it just would show quickly. And uh, again, why, I, why those partnerships that, that you've mentioned have, have really worked. Well, that's great. And I think, uh, I hope hopefully that's one of those learnings that we take from this time and it carries forward uh, uh, as we resume whatever normalcy looks like on the other side of this. Uh, as, a, as a parting kind of uh, parting wisdom, what would you say uh, to, the, uh, to the folks of Monmouth and Ocean County that are watching this, that are, um, that are uh, still in their houses, that are still trying to be socially distant, that are um, obviously uh, worried uh, to varying extents about their jobs, about their families, about their health, not necessarily in that order. Um, what would you tell them as somebody that's, uh, that's really kind of been living in it uh, since, the, since the onset? 
patience is a virtue. Uh, we have to all be patient. We uh, have to slow down and think about um, where we came from just a few, few, few weeks ago as we were at the peak of the virus and uh, make sure that, that we don't jump the gun and end up back there. Uh, early on, I was asked by the CEO of Monmouth Medical to, to join him in rounds in, in the ICU at Monmouth Medical Center. And I'll tell you, that, that memory, I, I will live with that memory of, uh, of the nurses and the, uh, the intensivists all working on those patients and just seeing pictures, pictures from kids that uh, they drew for their family members um, and, and were sticking on the windows of the ICU. Um, it, 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 this is real and uh, this is something hopefully we never have to experience again, uh, but uh, we could very well experience it in just a few weeks or, or months if, if we're not careful. So I hope people slow down, think a bit uh, and realize that it was just a couple weeks ago and we, we could easily end up back in that situation if we don't all continue to do our part. Well, that's great. Bill Arnold, uh, Robert with Johnson Barnabas, uh, you, we thank you on behalf of the foundation, uh, on behalf of the folks of Monmouth and Ocean County. Uh, thank you so much for all that you and your great team um, is doing every day on the front lines of this. It's, it's, it's got to be just, I can't even imagine going in every day and knowing that you're, you're putting yourself at risk. Uh, and then you got to go home to your own family and that you may be by extension putting them at risk. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's somewhat helpless feeling, but it's a, it's a fight that has to be fought. And you and your team are doing it every day. So thank you so much for all you do. Thank you, Jeremy. Cool. Uh, that'll do it for us for uh, Collaboration Wednesday. Stay tuned uh, next week uh, for our next installment. Uh, and uh, as always, be safe, be well, uh, and take this time to enjoy your families and those that are closest to you. Um, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.